Thank you, Kate. New tonight, a crash between a box truck and a motorcycle in Fall River has turned deadly. It happened this morning off of Highland Avenue. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima spoke to eyewitnesses and joins us live in studio with more. Julianne? Shannon, we've learned a 29-year-old Taunton man was riding a motorcycle on Highland Avenue when he crashed into the box truck as it was making a turn. Now, the driver of that truck left the scene, but police say it's possible he didn't realize someone had crashed into his truck. A portion of Highland Avenue in Fall River closed for hours after a deadly crash between a motorcycle and a box truck. We had heard some screeching or whatever, and, um, you know, when he went out, it was, uh, you know, horrific scene. Someone was down on a motorcycle and that the motorcycle was still in the middle of the road. The Bristol County District Attorney's Office tells us 29-year-old Christopher Mills of Taunton was riding a motorcycle traveling north on Highland Avenue. A box truck driving in the opposite direction turned here onto Courtney Street, pulling out in front of the motorcycle. Mills attempted to stop, leaving a 25 to 30 yard skid mark in the road before crashing into the passenger side of the truck. He was pronounced dead at Rhode Island Hospital. It was a fatality, so we were, you know, obviously upset with that. You know, it's a very quiet neighborhood, and even though the street is relatively busy, um, you know, not much happens directly on the street, so it was, it was disturbing. The truck drove off, but investigators say it's possible the driver didn't realize what had happened. It was just really worried, you know. It could be someone I know. Michael Miller lives on Highland Avenue, just up the road from where the crash happened. The speed limit in this area varies from 30 to 40 miles per hour, but people who live here say cars usually drive much faster. It gets so ridiculous on the street. People just come 80 miles an hour, you know, sometimes. Just horrible, you know, our thoughts go out to the family. We, you don't have any details, obviously, but, um, you know, it's just, it's just sad, you know, a needless, just a horrific situation. And investigators say the truck driver has not been charged with any crimes, but the investigation is still open. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.